All right, everybody, welcome to our eBay broadcast this afternoon. So we are talking about eBay Data Labs, and that's what you're seeing on your screen right now. I'll probably just zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. How about that? That's probably a little bit better. But this is eBay Data Labs. They actually have some different uh, tools and uh, different things that you can use as a seller to learn a little bit about the eBay marketplace. Um, they actually provided a little bit of insight on in terms of numbers recently, and I just wanted to show this to you guys right here. Um, eBay currently has uh, two or 25 million sellers, active sellers on eBay, 157 million buyers, and over 800 million items. So that that just gives you some perspective on the eBay marketplace. eBay is not some small time garage sale, glorified garage sale type site. It is it is one of the largest marketplaces in the world. I mean, that's huge, right? But amidst trying to decide on what to sell, and, and if you look here, 800 million different items that people are selling, I mean, that, that should put it into perspective. It's sometimes very difficult to choose and figure out what to sell. I wanna offer you guys some advice using this tool today. And this is the What's Popular tool on eBay's Data Labs. If you want to find this, um, I believe the address is just this one right here. I think you can just do it. I'll, I'll, I'm going to try this, and then I'll put it up. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so let me put this up for you guys so you can just copy it. There you go. Go ahead and copy that down right there. datalabs.ebay.com slash popular.html. datalabs.ebay.com slash popular.html. Okay. I'll wait like another five seconds for you guys to copy that down. And then I'm also going to just share it out with all of you guys here in the chat. There you go. You guys should have got it in a couple of times. Okay, so there's the address. So what it does, it takes you to this really cool research type site, okay? And it, it'll default to ebay.com here at the top. So I'm gonna draw on the screen a little bit. Um, let me grab a, what color should I use? Let's use a red color. This right here, you can you can filter by eBay.com or you can do like eBay.ca um, or no, I'm sorry, eBay.co.uk. So it's available for the UK and then eBay.de. Most of you guys are just going to filter by eBay.com, those that are selling here in America. And then you'll also notice that uh, you you can filter and search by a couple of different things. So you can look at Number one, your top sold items on eBay currently. You can look at the top watched items and you can look at the top viewed items. Okay, so let's let's make sure we understand the differences first. Top sold is items that actually have sold for sure, right? Somebody bought it and it sold. The caveat on that is it ha I believe it has to be something that also shows inventory or, or a quantity of, of of items. So for example, if I'm doing a listing and I say I have five laptop computers and three of them sell, it would qualify to go on this top selling list. But if I sold five laptop computers or I sold three laptop computers set in different listings, it wouldn't count in this metric. So the top sold metric isn't perfect, but it's pretty, it's, it, it is pretty good. And as you can see right here, um, it actually is based on the hour. So by default, you'll see this next refresh in, and it's got this countdown. Every minute, it refreshes the screen. And you guys will watch it here with me as we're talking here, and it'll update this information. So this is as real-time and as current as you can possibly get 
eBay has never had such a good a good uh, tool for something like this, ever. So this is pretty cool stuff. We've always had to research the Amazon marketplace to try to figure out what it is that's selling well on eBay. Um, that's not necessarily true anymore. There you go. See, it just refreshed it, and now it's counting down again. So this right now is defaulted as well to all categories, so it's not any specific product. This is just all categories that are listed here, and if I were to scroll through here just a little bit, and show you guys around, you'll see that this little, uh, this packaging tape has sold the most in the last, um, in the last hour, 116 times. This Dell computer right here has sold 72 times in the last hour, so on and so forth. This, this shoe right here, and, and not surprisingly, look at this shoe, it's 20 bucks and free shipping, right? pretty impressive isn't it you can scroll down you can kind of see what people are buying here retro fashion mirror lenses for sunglasses right here 461 up oh, and then it updated on us and so it changed the order a little bit you see that so it's kind of cool um, you can see real time of all of eBay what is uh, what what is actually selling most which is pretty cool now you can also see the top the top watched items um, please explain for me, somebody, what is, uh, what is a watcher? What does that mean if it's a top watched item? We talk about this a lot. Somebody, somebody refreshed our memory. What is that? For those of you who don't know. Yeah, and that's right, Russell. That's the, that's the distinction. If you only sell individual items, um, without indicating that you have any in quantity, it's not going to show up as the top. The top sold is basically taking an individual item that shows that they have a large quantity and, and shows how many of those have sold. That's the only way you can get it to show up that way. Yeah, top watched is people who are watching something, which means they simply add it to their favorite list, right? So you can see as of right now in the last hour, this is this leads the way, this little closet organizer, 30 bucks in free shipping. There's uh, 1,750. 59 watchers on this item which is pretty impressive okay and as you scroll down you can see other things that are being watched heavily we can go to top viewed in the last hour that same Dell computer has been viewed 6,500 times um, this retro pair of Jordans right here has been viewed 2,800 times so on and so forth as you scroll down you'll see various things here the reason I love this so much is there's so many of you guys who come into our program from, from all sorts of different vocations. We have teachers, we have nurses, right? We have uh, lawn care people, we have, we have uh, doctors, we have lawyers, we have accountants, right? We have, we have people of all sorts of different vocations that come in here and the majority of you guys don't necessarily know what's trendy. You might be able to tell me um, you know, how to take care of my yard, but you're not going to be able to tell me what sells well on eBay. And that's, that's most of you guys. And so, and I don't pretend like I'm some sort of, uh, some sort of, uh, master market researcher either. I'm not, but I've got the right tools to help me do it. And this is, this is definitely one of them. This thing's awesome. I love this. So, um, this is this is all filtered by all categories right now. Now we can change things up a little bit. This is just what's trendy or top viewed in the last hour. Um, watch us change it to the last day. So in the last 24 hours, the most viewed item is this uh, this Fila men's shoe for 20 bucks and free shipping. And if we can scroll down, we can see a bunch of other stuff, right? You've got this Dyson vacuum. 160 and free shipping so on and so forth okay that's in the last day and then we can filter by the last week and see in the last in the last seven days what is what item has been viewed the most and according to this it's uh it's an xbox one bundle and then you look down the list you've got a certain type of running shoe you've got a watch you've got one of these fitbits right you guys recognize some of these products. You've got some Dolce & Gabbana 
cologne right here. So this is this really is pretty cool because if you have no idea what's popular or what's trendy, uh, you now know in all categories. These are the most popular and trendy stuff on eBay. Now, does that mean that this is the stuff you should sell? Not exactly. You don't need to sell these exact items, but this should give you a glimpse into what people are interested in better than probably any other tool out there. Uh, the other thing that's kind of cool that I like to do is I like to filter by categories. So I can come in here and I can look through various pet categories. If I'm in the pet supply industry, I can click pet supplies and it's only going to show me related stuff in my niche or my industry. As of right now, in the last day, this particular cat tree has gotten the most interest, $32.99 and free shipping, okay? Um, so on and so forth. You could scroll through this and look. Now that's only top viewed, but if I want to see top sold, I see um, this particular pet cage right here. And then here's the cat tree. And then you've got the harness and so on and so forth. Um, hey, you could even, even live crickets, it looks like. A 500 count of live crickets for 15 bucks has been bought 19 times in the last day. I want to filter this by the last week and round out the numbers a little bit better. I can learn even more. So I, I, I really, really like this tool, guys. I think I think if, uh, if, if you find yourself in the position where you just don't know what to list, or you're in the position where you're a more established seller and you're looking to expand upon your inventory and expand upon your suppliers, why not look at uh, some real-time data that should show you that information, right? Um, and if you click on the item, it usually just takes you over to the item itself. So that'll that'll take you right over. You can get even more specific if you want to. You can search by keyword. So if uh, my, you know, if I'm interested to see if uh, Utah Jazz products sell well. I could search Utah Jazz. I have to make sure I don't have it in pet supplies, so I might want to make it all categories and, and redo that search, and I can see what types of Utah Jazz products are most popular within the last day. That's the top sold within the last day. If I want to see the last week, I can filter that, and if I want to see instead top viewed or top watch, I can filter by all these different uh, methods, okay? Um, back to your comments for a second, though. Um, yeah, that's actually a good observation, Debbie. Let me let me comment on what you just said. So let's go back. Let's not search by anything. Let's just do all categories and top sold. You're going to see this right here, this little symbol right here show up a little bit. See eBay deals. A lot of this stuff is actually featured on the deals section within eBay, or even sometimes featured on their homepage. And if that's the case, obviously those numbers are gonna be skewed high, right? People shop the eBay deals section and they shop the homepage of eBay pretty aggressively. So if eBay is purposefully putting those there, then they're obviously going to be ranking uh, uncharacteristically high. So you might wanna look at those with, with just a, a grain of salt, right? If, if you're seeing the little eBay deals, just know that that might actually not be because they're super trendy. You want to be looking at items that uh, maybe don't have that logo as much. But people are still buying them. It doesn't change the fact that that uh, people are interested in those and they're being sold and, and there's a lot of interest. But it's not necessarily fair because those are those are featured on some of the most popular places of eBay. That's a good point. Thanks for pointing that out, Debbie. So who's used this here? Have any of you guys actually used this particular tool? I think this is the first time we're actually training on it, so I, I, I haven't recommended it to many of you. Usually we're recommending this one right here. Let me bring it up real quick. The Amazon bestseller list, right? And we've taught about this quite a bit. This is basically what we just showed you on eBay, but in Amazon terms. And we've always said, use this 
to research what's hot on eBay because if it's hot here, it's going to be hot there as well. But now you don't have to make that jump. You can simply just use eBay's tool. Although I, I, I still use both. But this is, of course, specific to eBay. All right, so use it, guys. Whatever we can do to get some kind of competitive edge to figure out what's selling and, and what's not is what we want to do. And, and and I think this is going to be pretty good for you guys. So good luck using it. Um, we'll, we'll probably, I don't think I'll go into any more detail. I think you guys have seen enough here. Get in there and play with it and see if you can find some stuff that uh, that'll work. And then go find your suppliers and start selling it for yourself. Find retailers, find wholesalers, find inventory on it. At least you have a resource that shows you what's selling. All right? Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for coming along today. We'll keep it short and sweet. Have a good holiday, and uh, we'll see all of you next week, same time, same place.